Hello, welcome to lesson 44, Overloaded Indexers in C-Sharp, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what is Overloaded Indexers. In the previous session, we learned what is an indexer. An indexer is used for to treat uh, an object as an array. Keep in mind, an indexer is used to treat uh, an object as an array. By creating the object of a class, uh, we can retrieve and store values to an array. That's what we learned in the indexers. And there, at that point of time, indexers come into existence when you want to store uh, values to an array with the help of creating an object of a class. Uh, indexers come into existence at that point of time. And now we'll understand what is overloaded indexers. Right now, we'll jump into Visual Studio. This, this is the this is what the program in the last session we did it like we just created a class employee in the class employee we have an array of name data and its return type is integer and it stores five values in it and with the help of an indexer we stored values to it and later we created a value and then we created an object of a class and using that object of a class we accessed we stored values and we retrieved back and that's what an indexer plays a role now overloading means method overloading means the method with same name but it can take multiple parameters similarly if we want to overload an indexer then what I'll do is I'll just copy and paste but instead of passing only single parameter I'll pass another parameter which will take a string as a, a string as a parameter you can observe here there are two indexes one indexer is taking one variable that is integer one parameter but this uh, indexer is taking two parameters this is called as upper uh, indexer overloading and now uh, assume that in this array is going to store six values and now if I want to store the sixth value what I have to do I have to come here then with square brackets then phi keep in mind before closing this uh, if I type if I type if I press comma you can observe here this index this object is storing two variations one is one string employee it can take only integer type and other other indexer it can take uh, uh, integer as well as a string now I'll pass like a string and I'll come and just close the brackets here and now if I assign a value to it like string value like name ang pro now it obviously takes now I have to print it like I have to place a pla placeholder here and at the end uh, I'll come here and e of 5 now when I run this program sorry I have to pass the complete access of it like uh, techie also okay it's techie not Reggie okay now when I run this program you can observe it successfully prints uh, Ang Pro also on console screen how did it do because see my indexer is having two variations one one variation is taking one parameter that is integer parameter and other variation other indexer is taking two parameters one is integer type and string type now when I go and access create an object of a class now if I want to store values to it the for only the integer type we are passing like this but the other indexer is taking two parameters an integer and a string we have to pass in this manner and we have to assign value to it for example if I have an indexer it will take three parameters for example this and uh, I'll take like float float C okay now coming back here string A okay if I take like parameters E of uh, 6 comma sorry I'll just erase this and I'll just pass here itself see the it's taking float type also float type like 12.4 I have to pass the suffix also now when I run this program it obviously works because we are overloading an indexer and we are assigning a value to it when we create an object of a class this is what the indexer overloading means means uh, indexer with the, with have multiple parameters it varies it means that you can observe here this indexer is having one parameter and this indexer is having two parameters and this is having three parameters and what we are doing we are overloading an indexer each time this is what the concept of index indexer overloading is you can observe here indexes can also be declared with multiple parameters and each parameter may be a different type it is not necessary that the indexes have to be integers C sharp allows indexes to be other types for example string that's what we did in our program and thank you for listening. Have a great day. Please subscribe to Anchor Training below.